scared. Initially, right? You scared because you don't know what's going on, right? Not enough people talk about the fact that they were scared when they first got there, okay? 90% of y'all were scared. Am I the only one who's going to keep it a bean? Of course, dudes will get used to it and then they'll get tough. But dudes be acting like they was just totally heartless, totally fearless, walking in Rikers Island, which is literally known as the worst county jail in America. Like what what it do, do sitting with the crew I been get some food I see you looking like you do Had to make a move, make a move Sell a got a glow And a Jimmy Joe's Break the rules No, you're not a fool But I'm in the mood What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty A.K.A. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador With another Rikers Island story And I'm gonna give y'all some more transparency Because like I be saying, you know I'm a Pisces and y'all know we overanalyze stuff. We try to understand human nature on a deep level, you know. A lot of people just be consumed with their own ego. And they only be worried about their own feelings. Pisces and I like that. Like, we really love the world. And we really want to understand the world and help the world in any way that we can. Those of us Pisces who haven't already drove themselves crazy because they can't understand that you cannot, you cannot change the whole world per se. Like a lot of this shit, you gotta let the people learn for themselves, you know? But um, here's the thing, right? Right? The most violent and most oppressive inmates, right? The biggest bullies, right? In Rikers Island, or I would assume jail period, right? are the most insecure and the most scared. They are. Let's get to it. Right quick though, shout out to the brand new subscribers. If you brand new here, you about to see a type of jail story that you never seen. Want to know why? Because I'm one of the best. But let's get to it. Um, Picture it this way. Put yourself in their position, right? Picture yourself to be and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say, put yourself in the shoes of a young black man, right? Young black man, right? You come from a, you were raised by a single mother, okay? You don't know your father, for the most part. If you know him, he wasn't around like that, right? And maybe even though he wasn't around, you already heard he was a street dude, right? So you immediately want to aspire to be like him. Maybe he in jail for life, or maybe he got killed in the street, right? You immediately want to be like him because that's what we're going to do as young men. We look for that love, that attention, that masculine energy. And this is what leads a lot of us in the streets, right? To be led by other fatherless, older men. But picture this though. The right man wasn't in your household, right? So you already, there's aspects of manhood that you don't understand, right? Like controlling your emotions, right? Treating a woman the right way, things like that. You know, like responsibilities, right? Learning trades, which is what important about fathers being in their kids' lives because most women, they're not going to learn trades, all right? They going to work in boutiques. They going to be receptionists. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. They going to work for other people. And a lot of times they not putting themselves in a position to where they can learn a skill and then be a boss one day because they become a master at a skill. This is why we cannot deny the importance of having the right father figure in the house. You know what I'm saying? So. Being that they haven't learned certain skills and responsibilities, now they out in the street now, trying to sell drugs, trying to rob people, right? On top of that, right? And this is all before you even go to Rikers Island. On top of all that now, right? You join a gang now. Uh, blood, Crip, if you're Spanish. If you're Spanish, Hispanic, right? Patia, Latin King. MS-13, whatever you want to call it, right? 
just imagine how you was already brought up in a tough household. You mad at the world already, right? You afraid. You are afraid to try anything different because you don't want to stand out. You want to blend in with the crowd, right? You grew up. The men that's around are bums, okay? In and out of jail, two, three bids. Likely, likely was sleeping with other men while they was in prison if they really was in the max and did that long. And we're going to do another video on that too. On that too, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these dudes, yeah, yeah. Including some of y'all big homies, right? Right? So boom. Picture all that and now you in a gang now. So now you join the gang, right? You got jumped into this gang, right? So you feel a strong allegiance to this gang because you done shed blood and you had your own bloodshed for this gang. So now look, you get locked up now. You go to Rikers Island now, right? Initially, right? You scared because you don't know what's going on, right? Not enough people talk about the fact that they were scared when they first got there, okay? 90% of y'all was scared. Am I the only one who's going to keep it a beam? Of course, dudes are getting used to it and then they'll get tough. But dudes be acting like they were just totally heartless, totally fearless, walking in Rikers Island, which is literally known as the worst county jail in America. Right? So now you go in there, right? You a particular gang set. Let's say you a blood, right? There's many, many different blood sets, but now you go there, right? You meet many other bloods from many different sets, right? And you wanna impress them, right? Especially the ones that been there before you and they've been locked up for more serious crimes than you, right? You wanna impress them and also you Fear, right? Possibly being kicked out the whip, right? That means getting dropped from your game. Or you fear being looked at as fool or whatever, right? You fear ridicule. You fear the wolves, right? The bigger wolves, right? Getting on your behind, right? Plus, you got kites being sent here and there. You got the older bloods, right? And I'm only saying bloods because... They the largest gang. This could easily apply to the Crips. This could easily apply to the YGs in the Bronx. If you Hispanic, this could easily apply to Latin Kings, Pathias, MS-13, whoever, right? But you fear being ridiculed by them. You fear, right, becoming a plate by one of their jurisdictions, right? So that fear pushes you to be even more of a savage than you already are, okay? And then here's another thing, right? A lot of the most oppressive dudes, they don't have the same support that a dude who is not in the gang and he neutral, but his mother is just there for him, his grandmother is just there for him, his girlfriend is there for him, that sparks jealousy. And then at the same time, you may not want nobody to know that you don't have that type of support, right? You fear the judgment of being a bum on Rikers Island. Nobody love you. You ain't getting enough letters. You ain't getting enough visits. So what do you do? That fear causes you to be even more, right? of an oppressor to your own people. That fear causes you to do that. You fear, right? Right? Checking on the information in your account and they say you got zero dollars. And that fear of being looked at like a bum causes you to be even harder of an extortion artist. Even more aggressive even quicker to choke a day room dummy out and put him to sleep, right? And put him to sleep, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, 
you quicker to say, hey, listen, you get some money in your account so I can get your commissary, or you're going to take violations every day. And violations could be a, 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 a wide range of things, you know. Um, um, you could be you could be a dude that's soft and you taking violations is you trying to sleep late at night, right? And the oppressor is the SPA walking down the cell, checking everybody, everybody cells in the middle of the night. He throwing piss on you or he throwing water on you while you trying to sleep. Or he opening the slot, throwing the apple on your head while you trying to sleep. Or the uh-oh booty dance. Okay? The uh-oh booty dance, which I'm going to do a specific video on that too. But this is exactly what's going on, you know? It's fear. And I didn't realize this till I left and I analyzed everything. But it's the fear, right? It's the fear of... The, the 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 people of your gang that are above you, the fear of them imposing their will on you forces you to impose your will on people that are beneath you in the gangster totem pole, you know? And it's a revolving cycle, you know? It's a revolving cycle. And will this cycle ever be corrected? Probably not. So I say, like I always say, if you have an opportunity to change your life, change your life, okay? If you want to drop your flag, drop your flag. Drop your flag, all right? Move away if you got to move away, man. But put yourself first. Put yourself first. But at the end of the day, man, a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, you drop, a, you drop your flag, see, I don't know. Dudes really get hurt behind that. But hey, if you're not going to drop your flag, try to be a beacon of hope. Try to change things, right? I guess, you know, but that's, I'm going to end the story here. But that's just me explaining how the most oppressive guys, the most feared guys, right? The most violent inmates are usually the most scared. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.